Tottenham in fifth, Aston Villa in twelfth. They meet today for the first game of 2023. Let's remind you, if you're just switching on, of the team news. Robbie Earl, Conte, interesting move at the back. Yeah, Eric Dyer, you'll see number 15 there. It goes to the bench. Christian Romero, World Cup winner, he comes in. His first game as the restart after the World Cup. The creativity might have to come from the wide areas, Doherty and Perisic. And uh, as wing backs, because Hui Berman and Basuma are not really the passing type of midfield players. Harry Kane's got 13 Premier League goals. Actually, that's eight behind Berlin Hall. And Young Min Son scored on one occasion this season when he got a hat trick against Western. Brian Hill comes in the team. We're hearing Kulusevsky has got an injury. We're starting to learn a little bit more about how Unai Emery wants to lay out his team. Yeah, and it, 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 it's a 4 4 2, which will narrow into a 4 2 2 with two players ahead of them, Watkins and Bailey at the back. Look for Young and Dina to try and get forward to give a bit of width as McGuinn and Buendia will get into the central areas where they'll want to be strong. This is a Villa team that, when they're at their best and the, the structure's right, they can be a threat with the um, versatility of Watkins and Bailey up top. Slow starts have been a real problem for Tottenham lately. They have conceded the first goal in each of their last six Premier League games. What's worse, Antonio Conte's team have been 2-0 down in five of those six matches. In all competitions now, it's nine games in a row that Tottenham have let in the first goal. That will have been the main thing of the match and written on the blackboard in the dressing room before the game today. Do not concede first. Yeah, you would think so. About time Spurs got themselves off to a really good, purposeful, solid start. Wilson's clearance straight to Ben Davis. Good header though by... Bubakar Kamara. Leon Bailey's down. Referee waving play on. Douglas Louise tries to take the ball on. This is Son. And it was the meat to the sandwich of the free kick is awarded to Tottenham. No attempt at all to play the ball there. That's a, as blatant as you'll see. That really should be a card. I'm sure Luca Dean really wanted that there, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, well, that is a relief for Villa to hear the whistle. Shot comes back off the post anyway, but Villa, there are times to play and there yeah. are times to just blast it away. Yeah, maybe there, Buendia might have been better served clipping that one forward when he had the chance on his left foot. Dean looks for Watkins. Just had a little angle on his run to stay on side. It was close, though. Watkins taking on Clement Longley. And he just wrapped his foot around it too much. Big chance for Aston Villa. Yeah. He could see the whites of the goalkeeper's eyes. He certainly could. He could see Ollie Watkins there checking the linesman. It was a close one. Watch. Oh, he's good. He's good there. I think he's pretty good. See Villa now in that solid sort of 4 4 2. As Antonio Conte's just urging his team on. Look at those four midfield players for Villa. There. Yeah. And he'll try and stay narrow. Force people inside. Perisic. Positive. Gets away from Young. This is Hoybier. He's been urged to shoot by the Tottenham fans, but it didn't quite sit up for him. Brian Hill. Look at the Spanish matador about him as he turned into the penalty area there. What a lovely nutmeg from Doherty. And Villa relieved to see it out for a corner. Brilliant challenge out from Kamara. Lovely play, wasn't it? From Matt Doherty. They wriggle out of that tight area on the far side really well with Hill to Doherty there. The little nutmegs is beautiful. But Kamara doing really well, making sure that he's got Tyrone Mings' his back and he had to have it there. Kane. Just well against Douglas Louise. Can't bring it with him, though. It's almost like that where Villa will be slow to spring into a counter. They'll get the free kick here. Christian Romero, the guilty party. Well, he certainly got the ball, I, th I thought, Christian Romero there. Whether the studs were up, looks like he's going to get a card as well. Welcome back from the World Cup. Back to reality for Christian Romero. Let's have a look. It's because he goes through the player a little bit. Yeah. He... As you can see, Tottenham seeing a bit more of the ball now. And the latest yellow card in a game that has had an edge to it. Mm. 
Schlung has been on the receiving end. Some treatment today. Two feet from Ben Davis. And now, ahead of half time, all three Tottenham central defenders have gone in the referee's notebook. Perisic has made a very good run here. Second touch took him wide. Harry Kane cleared off the line by Ashley Young. The game suddenly springing into life. Son. Uh, appeals about to stop the arm of uh, Young, and the referee agrees this is going to be a free kick to Tottenham. Ashley Young, judged to have handled it on the way through. Tottenham have got everyone but Harry Kane back behind the ball. Douglas Louise. Well, it was miles out, but the bounce proved problematic for Lloris, and Watkins tees up Buendia, and Aston Villa have the lead! It's their first proper shot on target of the game! 2022 was Argentina's year, and it's an Argentinian, Emi Buendia, that scores the first Premier League goal of 2023! Lovely tucked finish, wasn't it, in the end, from Emi Buendia. Douglas Luiz hits that shot from distance, and they are awkward for goalkeepers when they bounce in front of them, but he should deal with this better, Hugo Lloris, and Spurs should react quicker. There's four white shirts there, and Ollie Watkins manages to just reset and grab that ball and get Villa back on the front foot. They're a little bit slow reacting. Great play from Watkins, lovely little pass, and a clever finish there from Emi Buendia to give Villa a lead against the run of play, of course. But now Spurs really going to have to come back out. It is Emi Buendia's second goal of the season. His first one came against Everton in August. Holy beer, look how deep Villa sitting here. Stretching that line along the edge of the penalty area. Oh, uncertain touch by McGinn, and a chance for Tottenham, and Perisic could have scored. Should've. A huge sigh of relief for Villa. Yeah, should have scored. Perisic nearly gave it away, but nicely done by Doherty for Harry Kane. Quiet match by his standards so far. Oh, Olsen was backpedalling. Comfortable in the end. Good hands. Son back into Kane. Pockets picked by Kamara. This is McGinn. Buendia was screaming for it. This is Douglas Louise and Aston Villa gets second two goals in the second half for Aston Villa and Tottenham again go two down in a game it's a familiar sinking feeling for Antonio Conte incredibly Aston Villa doubled their lead and it's happened again six out of seven matches now Tottenham find themselves two goals down. Well, Harry Kane it is who loses possession deep in his own territory right there. And from there, Villa just worked this beautifully. It's a lovely pass, that, from McGinn. And that is as cool and as classy a finish as you could wish from your main striker, never mind a, someone who's really earned his trade as a sitting midfield player. Lovely ball from McGinn. That is a lovely goal, very, very well taken, and a huge moment in the game for Unai Emery, he knows it. Tottenham finding themselves penned in here, this is not where they want to be. Buendia, good vision, Douglas Luiz, straight at the keeper. Good strike, went for it one touch, he's hurt himself in the process there as well, Douglas Luiz. Villa temporarily playing with 10, Perisic. Sliding back was Mings. Great block. Brilliant challenge that from Toro Mings. Nicely guided from Watkins. He's got Ings at the far post. And he's got Chambers behind. Oh, need a moment to steady himself, but it's not a clean shot from. Only Manchester City got more Premier League goals in 2022 than Tottenham, but. They haven't been able to find the net today, and those Villa fans will enjoy their journey back to the Midlands. Recent visits to the capital have not been successful. Today certainly has. Just over a minute of stoppages to go. 
Spurs who had been on a run of 10 home wins in a row in all competitions up until the defeat to Newcastle. They lose again here today. Unai Emery's revolution at Villa Park is getting off to a very, very good start. It's Aston Villa's second away win in the league all season. Both have come since Emery's arrival. Two in a row now on their travels. Emi Buendia, who set things in motion. Disappointing return to club form for Hugo Lloris after the World Cup final. He fumbled the ball in the build-up for the first, and Douglas Louise was able to pounce for the second. Aston Villa will start 2023 with renewed encouragement now. This is a huge result for Unai Emery against his old North London rivals. It finishes Tottenham Hotspur nil, Aston Villa 2. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.